The Native Hawaiian people are the only indigenous Aboriginal Maoli people of Hawaii, Section 1, Subsection 1, Statement of Recognition. This recognition of the Native Hawaiian people as the indigenous Aboriginal Maoli people of Hawaii by the state of Hawaii directly link the Kanaka Maoli people to the rights affirmed in the United States United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People and confirms that the process of reinstating the former Kingdom of Hawaii nation fulfills Articles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7 regarding the right to sovereignty. Woo! The Kanaka Maoli people declared that the affirmation facts and facts in law support the perfect right to reclaim our sovereign rights to political authority, sovereignty, and our real property, chateau properties, that rightfully belong to the reinstated, independent, sovereign kingdom of Hawaii nation. Yeah. Respectfully yours, Henry Noor, Prime Minister, Kingdom of Hawaii. Yeah. yeah! As you can see, I can tell you, this is not the first notice, but this is the final. Okay? We never did ask this government to demand the return of our lands. It took us 12 years to fulfill our obligations in international law so that we could stand here today and demand the return of all of our lands. Okay? Yeah. And I'm glad that you guys are part of this because you can only keep stolen property so long. Roger! You cannot continue to lie. You cannot continue to tell us you're sorry. Yeah? You need to get real. Get real. You know? Get real. Everybody keeps telling me yeah, that we cannot get together. That is the biggest lie I ever heard in my life. We are together. Guess what? We saw together that we actually fulfilled all the requirements on the international law right in front of their, their positions and the United States government. We never once did not inform them of everything that we do. And we have all the records to prove it. Now is the time for these people who've been occupying our lands, using our lands for their benefits to pack up and get out of Dodge. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. They've taken far too long to say you sorry in 1993, yeah? And now, yeah, they're giving us that perfect time of 12 years to perfect our position to reinstate a government that their United States government actually tell you in that same law that we never gave it up. Right. We never gave them the lands. Right. You know what? They didn't realize that we would end up learning and understanding yeah, international law well enough to position our government to lawfully reclaim what is ours. Okay, so today is a great day for us, Kanakas. A great day. And I, and I thank Akua for guiding all of us. You know, I, not once did we once create any problems, any trouble with any of these de facto governments. Not one time. And I believe it's because we know who we are. We just have to be able to fulfill our obligations understand who we supposed to be okay and just act upon how we believe every other country every other people in this na in this world has a right to their inherent identity their inherent lands their national sovereignty and their right to be a, a sovereign nation and again i thank all of us now, we're nearing 8,000 of us across the island chain. 8,000 of us yeah. is a part of this lawful Ooh. government. Yeah. You know what? They cannot, they cannot deny the fact yeah, that we, the Hawaiian government does not own, own the crown, the national lands, okay, which includes the public and government land. 
they cannot deny us that. What they have done, have ignored us. Roger. Okay? So, like anything else, in law, due process had to be fulfilled. Amen. And when you're bringing one nation back, due process does not happen overnight. It takes a lot of work. It takes due diligence of law so that when you finally fulfill your legal, lawful requirements, you can stand in peace. You can let this government know that we have built the government, we're ready to receive, and you need to return. Yeah. Okay? And if that, you guys wondering why we're here, that's exactly. Read our signs. Okay? Read our signs. Respect our right as a people. Yeah. Transition of government powers is a part of international law. I expect it to take several years, and I know in this de facto government, there are Kanaka Maoli who are qualified to hold government office in our government. So I don't see the transition of power as a conflict. I see it as the right thing to do. And everyone should understand that I thank Akua for having the United States government pass one law to tell all of us Kanakas that they stole our country, eh? but we never gave them our sovereignty or our lands. I thank them. Give them my hand. Give them my hand, you know? And I cannot blame them for taking so long yeah, to giving it back. I cannot blame them, right? Because like I told you, building a nation doesn't happen overnight. No, it takes hana hana. Hard work, hard work. And I'm proud to say to everybody that in our government, we just convened this plant just this past weekend, got Hana in on again, but who cared? That is what I saw in all of our elected government officials' faces. Henry, this is nothing compared to what we're looking forward hey, to. And our whole government convened, and we're here today to represent our claim our right to what lawfully belongs to us. Mahalo. I'm hoping you come and you know, say hello and you know, give me service, all right? After that, I wouldn't mind taking one uh, picture of all of us who are here, okay? Up against right here, maybe. Well, let's not block the door, whatever we do, okay? We're right about here, so I just take and walk by, huh? all right? So let's take a picture, okay? So, let's go home. Come on in. Can I just get one request? Is it possible for you to just say hello? He's actually in a press conference. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So that's good. At least I've got to ask you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> because if I didn't ask, you know, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, we can meet up. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a close up. Alright?